Hi, David Bear here from Bear on Marketing. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool called Connect Explorer uh, and share what it can do for you, what I like about it, also what I don't like about it, and why it's important. But before we jump over to that tool, I want to talk a little bit about Facebook ad targeting because this is what the tool is really all about. When you create ads on Facebook, you want to be as targeted as possible uh, in directing your message to the right people. The challenge is that most advertisers, when they go in and advertise, are not targeted at all. Usually they're either too broad, like, uh, you know, let's say you're trying to sell um, your shoes and you're targeting people who are interested in shoes, right? That's way too broad. You probably have a very specific shoe type that you're selling to a particular um, demographic. Uh, maybe there's an age range. Maybe there's a style of shoe that they like. And so as you can hone in on specific um interests, specific shoe types, specific um, uh, activities that those shoes might be used for, etc., the better off you're going to be in your targeting. The challenge, though, is how do you know what to target, what terms to target, what interests to target? Well, inside uh, of the uh, uh, Facebook ad create tool, when you get to this point of, um, of interest, this detailed targeting section, you can start typing things like, you know, shoes. And it will start to auto-suggest uh, some options for you. The, the big problem is that it really is only showing you uh, some high-level options. And there is a full range of uh, interests out there that you really just don't know about. So how do you discover what they are? Well, there are manual ways to discover them. But Connect Explorer is really a great tool for not only discovering them, but uh, in a moment, I'll show you how you can actually manage that information even more effectively. So let's jump over to uh, the Connect Explorer tool. Uh, and for the purposes of this, uh, uh, you know, we can start talking about shoes and uh, maybe I'll add one other, let's say, sneakers, okay? Oops, let's type that in correctly. So sneakers, right? And I'm going to go ahead and do a search, and suddenly it's going to come up with, came up with 448 results. Now, I can go through these and go, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, you know, um, this one and this one, uh, that one doesn't make any sense, this one, that one, right? And I can utilize um, these particular interests in my campaign. So that's one option. Um, another option is that I can actually sort by an audience size so I can see that, uh, you know, there's there's um, a much bigger audience around certain things. So heel shoe, I don't know what that is, but, you know, maybe that's something that I want to take a look at. Um, Converse shoe company, uh, high heeled footwear. Okay, so there's different options here, and that's going to give me an idea of if I have a good size audience. Now, there are also um, ways here to uh, adjust the audience size accordingly. Uh, you can also target specifically by uh, interest, demographic, um, uh, job titles if you want. Uh, there's w there's way more that I could I could add here. Um, you could do some word filtering. So if there's some words there, like um, maybe you don't want uh, anything having to do with sneakers or company, right? Maybe we want to get rid of companies. So let's exclude the word company and we can apply a filter and that will change it. This is going to be really helpful as we're trying to build a much more targeted audience uh, and it'll give us a lot of ideas about things that we never would have thought of uh, had we not run a search like this. All right, now let me show you also this page search. Uh, and again, I'm just going through this quickly because uh, there's a ton of stuff that I can show you here. Um, this is searching specific pages on Facebook and I can type in, you know, shoe. Oops, I can type it in correctly, right? There we go. And uh, we'll do that again, sneaker and I'll go ahead and hit a search. Now, this is going to search for all the pages related to shoes and sneakers. And it's, it takes a little while because it's really searching through a much bigger list. Uh, and so uh, in a moment when it populates this list, I will be able to see all of the Facebook fan pages out there that have some relationship to uh, one of these words, shoe or sneaker. Uh, it Actually, you can see it also will give me some suggestions of additional uh, keywords that I might want to consider. So over here, gym shoe, tennis shoe, uh, I don't know what canary and fink are, what they have to do with, uh, maybe that has to do with uh, sneaker, right, and then sneak. So it's, it's guessing based on what I'm trying to 
um, search for. All right, then ultimately, and we may just have to, to uh, pause this because this does actually take a while. Uh, it's going to give me a list of all of the um, fan pages out there that include one of these terms, and then I'll have the ability to toggle this and see if um, uh, any of these pages are actually interests that I can target. So let's come back to this in just a moment when uh, the search is all set and done for us. Okay, so now I've gotten a list of all of the fan pages uh, related to sneakers and shoes, and one really cool thing I have the ability to do is toggle right here, and that's going to be able to show me, all right, well, of all of those um, sites, those entries, uh, 457 of them, um, there are just a couple that are actually interests, complex sneakers and freebase uh, records and sneakers, okay? so. Those are things that I can actually target as opposed to all of these that I, you know, would wade through and guess whether they're, um, uh, whether they're interests or not. So that's really, really helpful is to be able to, um, uh, to pinpoint that. Actually, what it is is each page it looks like uh, I can toggle. So it's not just, um, it's not just, uh, let's see, it was the uh, two of the first um, page and one on the second page, etc. So um, that's how I'm able to uh, identify uh, some additional um, interests based on fan pages. Now, what's really, really cool, and I'm not actually in the shoe niche, so let's let's go to uh, something that I am doing. Um, I have the ability, and this is something that is unique to Connect Explorer. Uh, don't have the ability really to do this in any other um, platform that I have come across, even inside Facebook, uh, is to see which particular interests are winning against um, uh, the others when it comes to uh, an ad. So if you are building out an ad and you want to split test one interest against another interest against another interest, what you have to do is actually build separate um, ad groups and you have a minimum of, you know, if it's, if it's a click to uh, website uh, ad that you're running, you have a minimum of five bucks uh, that you have to spend on each ad group uh, in order to test that. And that can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. But imagine if I could run this all inside one ad group uh, and then be able to see which of my interests are winning and which are losing and then be able to adjust from there. So that's exactly what this tool does uh, beyond giving you the ability to do really good research on potential interest types. Uh, I can go into, and so here's a here's an ad that I ran, actually ended this about a week ago, so the stats are pretty old because it's only showing uh, the last seven days, so there's really just one day of data here, um, but it will show you that really there were just two um, interests here, uh, this one, John Maxwell Company, and this one, ICF International, that got any clicks, and that tells me that a whole bunch of these other ones were really just a waste of my time. Actually, it looks John Maxwell team as well. So there's there's three of them, right? So business coaching, business coach, breakthrough coaching, all of those things, I can actually go ahead and click eliminate here. And this is directly tied to my ad account, which means that it will adjust the ad targeting to focus just on the winners and stop focusing on the losers, the ones that are not getting the attention uh, or the clicks. This is incredibly helpful information when I am trying to uh, scale up and fine tune an ad to be able to adjust according to which interests actually matter when it comes to uh, the ads that I'm running. So this is pretty amazing stuff. Uh, and there is one downside to this, which is that it does only target uh, here the, on this particular page, the interests and not the behaviors or the demographic stuff. And that can be um, a really important component in your advertising as well. Uh, but when you're dealing with interests, uh, this is a super, super time saver and money saver uh, 
the, the only caveat that I, I really um, I have to say is if you're targeting around behaviors, uh, around job titles, things like that, uh, currently uh, Connect Explorer really doesn't have the ability to um, uh, to give you insight and uh, analytical data into that stuff. Um, that said, this is an incredible tool. Uh, and if you are advertising on Facebook and uh, you are utilizing targeting the way that you ought to be, uh, the way that I've just shown you, which is to really hyper target um, uh, high interest or high level interests like what we've been just looking at here in this video, uh, this is a tool that I highly, highly recommend. Uh, I've left a link uh, down below this video uh, for you to go check out Connect Explore. And um, I hope that uh, you have more and more success in your Facebook advertising going forward by utilizing systems like this that can help you uh, really ratchet up the quality, the level of your Facebook ads. This is David Baer uh, from Baer on Marketing talking about Connect Explorer. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, have a great day.